Welcome to the He's Got Issues Marvel Comics Edition number 178.1. I'm John Cooney here to preview new Marvel Comics being released June 10th, 2015, beginning alphabetically with 1602 Witch Hunter Angela number 1. In the altered realms of Battle World, Angela and Sarah are witch hunters in the scourges of King James England 1602. In a land beset by magic and monstrosity, they seek a new and seductive evil, not witch breed, but deal-making Faustians, who bargain with ancient creatures for unnatural power. Moral ambiguity, fancy illusions, Marguerite making the most of that English degree, try 1602 Witch Hunter Angela number 1. Next, we have Captain America and the Mighty Avengers number 9. In Earth's final hours, the Mighty Avengers come together one last time, but in the face of the end of everything, what help can they give? Guest starring the latest and perhaps the greatest Mighty Avenger, you. We've also got Captain Marvel and the Carol Corps number 1, a tan hut. These ladies are the best of the best and will take you down if you threaten their captain. Welcome to Holla Field, where being a part of the elite Carol Corps requires guts, guile, and a whole lot of grit. So put on your uniform and get ready for a high-flying Captain Marvel series years in the making. Next, we have Dark Tower, the drawing of the three, House of Cards, number four or five. It's Eddie and Roland versus the world as the gangland war with Balazar's men reaches its bloody climax. Eddie Dean's hit a point of no return, and when his rage comes to a boil, no one is safe. What doors will be opened when there's nothing left to lose? We've also got Ghost Racers, number one. Furious race from hell and a blazing arena of horror. Welcome to the scorching hot track where cursed souls race at the speed of sin. Anything and everything goes, and the only rule is no rule. It's the spectacle known as the Ghost Races, the most hellish entertainment known to Battle World. First place prize, temporary freedom for the arena. But what happens to the unlucky and unholy losers? It's all-out high-speed warfare amongst the most bizarre and vicious ghost riders of the Marvel Universe. Expect many familiar skulls. Next, we have Inferno number two. As if Colossus Inferno raid wasn't impossible enough, now his skeleton crew X-Men are a team divided. With Boom Boom gut stuck and bleeding out, Nightcrawler caught in Dark Child's Hellfire web, and Domino's fate in the hands of the Goblin Queen Madeline Pryor, find out if our big metal mutant can pull his team's bacon from the flames and get this suicide mission back on track as X-Men vs. Hell on Earth action continues. We've also got Inhumans Attilan Rising number two. What is the quiet room? There's a rebellion brewing on Battleworld, and it's centered around a mysterious silent man. Medusa will stop at nothing until the rebellion is squashed. Next, we have Kanan number three. The Jedi Order is disbanded or dead. The Republic has fallen. Caleb Doom enters the dark times of the Galactic Empire. We've also got Marvel Universe Avengers Assemble Season 2 Number 8. Modok takes over S.H.I.E.L.D. and uses an Infinity Gem to cause the Avengers to swap minds. It's mind over matter as the team must scramble in their new bodies to defeat Modok. Next we have Marvel Zombies Number 1. Elsa Bloodstone is stationed on the S.H.I.E.L.D. Burdened with the Sisyphean task of keeping the zombie hordes from rampaging through Battleworld. In those moments where she's not enwrapped in the throes of battle, she meditates on her deceased father, how everything he taught her gave her the means to fight the zombies, but all the love he didn't give her is what motivated the self-destructive actions that landed her on the wall in the first place. But when she sees a human child caught in the middle of the zombie verse, she'll muster every ounce of determination she has to throw herself into the zombie horde to rescue the girl. And once Elsa finds her, she's going to have to fight her way back out. We've also got Max Ride First Slight, number three of five. James Patterson's New York Times bestselling series comes to graphic life. As the flock come closer to discovering the truth about their past, they find themselves in unfamiliar territory, New York City. With the erasers close on their heels, their past may catch up with their future and destroy it. And where is that mysterious voice in Max's head coming from? Next, we have Mrs. Deadpool and the Howling Commandos, number one. She is Shikla, undisputed queen of the monster metropolis below Manhattan. In the world that was, she married Deadpool, the merc with the mouth, but nothing on Battleworld's quite as it was. Now she commands the Howling Commandos, Werewolf by Night, Frankenstein's Monster, the Living Mummy, Man-Thing, and Marcus the Centaur. What would her late husband think of that? We've also got Secret Wars 2099, number 2 of 5. Secret Wars continues as the Avengers of the year 2099 come face to face with the tremendous beast who's no stranger to the team. Who could it be? We'll give you a hint. You won't like him when he's angry. 
Next, we have Secret Wars Journal number 205. It's Craven's last hunt in Killville, and Detectives Misty Knight and Paladin are the hunted. Lord Sinister's secret weapon is his top-shelf chef, Matt Murdock, but what happens when Sinister comes between Murdock and his love, rare food scout, Collectra? The best Secret Wars anthology continues. You heard us, Secret Wars Battle World. We've also got Silk number 5. It's the spider team-up of the century to take down the Black Cat. Silk and Spider-Man together in one book. No, not together. Calm down. Next, we have Silver Surfer number 12, The New Life of Norrin Rad. No surfboard, no trace of the power cosmic, no hint of silver. It's an all-new life for Norrin Rad on an all-new world, and heralding a strange new chapter in Don Greenwood's story as well. We've also got Spider Gwen number 5, still haunted by the death of her world's young Peter Parker, Gwen Stacy pays a visit to the two people who knew him best. Next we have Spider-Verse number 2, Spider Gwen is on Battleworld and face to face with Norman Osborn. This can't end well, but what's going on with the rest of the Web Warriors? We've also got Ultimate End number 2 of 5, the last ultimate story by the groundbreaking universe's founding fathers, the countdown has begun, an end of an era, who will survive? And we've got Weird World number 1, welcome to the wildest, most dangerous new corner of the Marvel Universe, welcome to Weird World, a world of swords and sorcery and strange perverted science, a world where one barbarian walks alone on a dark and savage quest through all things weird and fantastic from throughout Marvel history. His name is Archon, a lost man and a lost world, follow him if you dare. Out in trades, we've got Ant-Man Scott Lang trade paperback. Meet 2015 silver screen sensation in waiting, Scott Lang, the astonishing Ant-Man. To save his daughter, Cassie, Scott is forced to return to a life of crime, stealing Hank Pym's original costumed identity. But when his noble intentions win the Avengers approval, he takes over as the all-new Ant-Man full-time. Electronics whiz Scott secures a job with Tony Stark, but the size-changing superhero must save Iron Man after a brutal battle with the Hulk. No shrinking violet, Scott holds his own in astonishing adventures with Spider-Man, The Thing, and The Avengers. And when Ant-Man and Hawkeye join forces, somebody's gonna get it. Collects Marvel Premiere number 47 and 48, Iron Man number 131 through 133 and 151, Avengers 195 and 196 and 223, Marvel Team-Up 103, Marvel 2 and 187, and material from Avengers 181 and Iron Man 125. Next, we have Deadpool by Posen and Dugan, Volume 2 hardcover. Jerry Dugan and Brian Posen's hilarious nonstop reinvention of the Merc with a Mouth continues. First, it's a lost adventure from the groovy 70s as Deadpool hits the streets with Power Man and Iron Fist. Then, when Deadpool's Weapon X past returns to haunt him, he recruits fellow Weapon Plus alumni Wolverine and Captain America. The reluctant team learns that Deadpool's past has been weaponized, but can they unite to take down this new threat? And when S.H.I.E.L.D. stiffs Deadpool on a bill, he declares one-man war on the agency and faces down Agent Phil Coulson on the helicarrier. Plus, take another trip back to the past as the Deadpool wreaks havoc on a cosmic level. Collects Deadpool number 13 through 25. We've also got Iron Man Volume 5 Rings of the Mandarin trade paperback. Malekith the Accursed, Lord of the Dark Elves, is a problem with Iron Man. Then again, Malekith the Accursed has a problem with pretty much everyone on Earth. And when Malekith the Accursed strikes, blood will flow and darkness will fall unless Iron Man can get the upper hand. It's cutting-edge mortal science versus the most arcane as guardian science imaginable, all in a bath of blood. Plus, which classic Marvel UK character returns in a reinvented form after the events of Revolutionary War? And how do the Mandarin's rings factor into the crisis? Iron Man vows to get to the bottom of things, assuming he lives. Collects Iron Man number 23 through 28. Next, we have Marvel Masterworks The Fantastic Four Volume 17 hardcover. The Fantastic Four continue their exploration into the impossible when they confront none other than the Impossible Man. From a tale that rampages through the Marvel bullpen and features the return of the Frightful Four, Impy will both torment and team up with our heroes in an attempt to make them a Fantastic Five. Then Reed Richards is replaced by his evil Counter-Earth counterpart. It's a saga so epic in scope that it pulls in Thundra, Tigra, the Mad Thinker, and Annihilus as Reed battles for his life in the heart of the Negative Zone. With little time to rest, our heroes must then battle through the Eliminator, Salem 7, Claw, and the Molecule Man in a series of struggles so shocking they may tear apart the FF forever. Collects Fantastic Four number 176 to 191. 
We've also got Marvel's Ant-Man Prelude trade paperback. Get ready for Marvel's next smash hit film with this all-new official prequel. Before Scott Lang becomes Marvel's shrinking sensation, his predecessor, Dr. Hank Pym, will pull on the Ant-Man helmet and leap into action on a death-defying mission into the icy heart of Cold War East Berlin. Then thrilled to an all-new Infinite-style adventure set in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as explosive new details in the history of the astonishing Ant-Man are revealed. But can the lessons of his past prepare him for the trials he's about to face? Plus, classic stories featuring pivotal moments in Scott Lang and Hank Pym's lives, the action-packed build-up to Marvel's Ant-Man begins here, so get on board now. Collects Marvel Ant-Man Prelude 1 and 2, Ant-Man Cinematic Infinite Comic Number 1, Marvel Premiere 47 and 48, Ant-Man Number 1, and Age of Ultron 10 AI. Next, we have Miles Morales Ultimate Spider-Man Volume 2 Revelations trade paperback. Miles Morales' life has been turned upside down on every conceivable level. New villains are coming out of the woodwork, but more important, Miles has a girlfriend. Her name is Katie Bishop but she has a secret, and it's bad news for Spider-Man. Miles makes a life-changing decision and discovers a mind-blowing truth. Who was his father? What is the secret of Miles' legacy? And will the ultimate Spider-Man become an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D.? When Miles confronts his family's past and his terrifying future and discovers a new spider power, the man behind the mysteries of the human fly's plans reveals himself. As Doctor Doom steps from the shadows, Miles gathers the ultimates, but no matter what happens next, this might be the end of the road for Miles Morales. Collects Miles Morales Ultimate Spider-Man number 6 through 12. We've also got Ms. Marvel Volume 3 Crush Trade Paperback. Love is in the air in Jersey City as Valentine's Day arrives. Kamala Khan may not be allowed to go to the school dance, but Ms. Marvel is. Well, sort of by crashing it in an attempt to capture Asgard's most annoying trickster. Yup, it's a special Valentine's Day story featuring Marvel's favorite charlatan, Loki. And when a mysterious stranger arrives in Jersey City, Ms. Marvel must deal with a crush. Because this new kid is really, really cute. What are these feelings, Kamala Khan? Prepare for drama, intrigue, romance, suspense, punching things, all this and more. The fan-favorite critically acclaimed Amazing New Series continues as Kamala Khan proves why she's the best and most adorable new superhero there is. Plus, see what happens when S.H.I.E.L.D. agent Gemma Simmons goes undercover at Kamala's school. Collect Ms. Marvel 12-15 through 15 and S.H.I.E.L.D. number 2. And we've got Silver Surfer Volume 2 Worlds Apart trade paperback. Everything up until now was chance and fate, but now it's decided. Dawn has earned her spot on the board, and she and the Surfer are going to explore the universe together. And the universe holds many wonders, including Planet Prime, the most perfect planet in the universe, a lone lighthouse floating in the void at the edge of all space and time, and an unlikely planet with a population of 666 billion beings, each from a different race. But can they survive the threat of Warrior One, the great monster in the galaxy, and a very strange spacefaring family? And witness the Silver Surfer's soul laid bare in a cosmic clash unlike any you've ever seen. It's a cosmic tale of triumph and tragedy as the Surfer takes on his former master, Galactus. Collect Silver Surfer number 6 through 10. All right, so that's it for Marvel this week, but there's still plenty of other books out as well, so be sure to check out my YouTube channel at He'sGotIssues.com to see both the DC and Indies videos for this week, as well as my featured video with the usual roundup of all my favorites for the week with a little more depth and insight than you get here. And if you like these videos, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment and subscribing. You can also follow He's Got Issues on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr, and Instagram to see everything I'm reading as I read it. So until next week, I'm John Cooney. And I've got issues.